Ape is skyrocketing today, AMC is dropping today, and B. Riley Securities Analyst says, quote, AMC's Ape conversion is a massive opportunity to wipe out debt and drive expansion. What in the world is going on? And what do you need to know about this situation? Because it can lead us closer to the ultimate. Moaz, guys, and that is something that you should be very excited about. Now, what we have today in After Hours is a very special earnings, and it's going to be massive for the markets, and it could be a reason why the markets are selling off today, and it's something that you need to know ASAP, and that's why I'm bringing it to you guys around 2 o'clock, 2.30ish, before the markets close, so you can know this information, um... And, and, and not get caught off guard if you do have any trades that could get caught off guard. It'll make sense as we get into the video. Now, we are also going to go over all of the data behind AMC and the data behind APE that you also need to know about ASAP. Guys, let's get into it. This is a very time-sensitive video, so strap on, buckle up, grab yourself a, a coffee or a cold one. I don't care, but it's time to get into it. So... Just like I read to you guys the headline of this article, this is a massive, quote, massive opportunity to wipe out debt and drive expansion, says this analyst. Now, AMC Entertainment Holdings pushed to convert its AMC Preferred Equity Units, or APES, into common stock is a massive opportunity in the company's battle to eliminate debt, according to B. Riley's analyst. Uh, B. Riley Securities Analyst Eric Wold. In a SEC filing Friday, the movie theater chain and meme stock Darling announced a special meeting of shareholders to increase the number of AMC authorized shares from just 524 million to 550 million and to authorize a 1 for 10 reverse stock split of the company's common stock, converting apes into shares of common stock. And it says, quote, Quote, this is from the analyst. Given that ape unit holders essentially control the vote at 64% of combined holdings and may not get another chance to extract value from those units, we expect the two proposals to pass and to and for this vote to open the door to a massive equity raising opportunity for the company in the coming years. Wold wrote in a note released Monday. Not only could this help the company eliminate all balance sheet debt as the exhibition exhibition. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Exhibition industry continues to recover, but it could allow management to ins to pursue additional diversification options to drive incremental growth within the greater media industry. That is huge, guys. To eliminate all balance sheet debt, all of it, that's a game changer. That's the only reason why people are ultimately short in AMC to begin with, is the company has $5 billion of debt. People make the argument that AMC will never be able to pay that off, or it'll take like 20 years to pay that off if they go back to the profit rates that they were at pre-COVID. Now, this also says... AMC said on December 22nd, 2022, that it was seeking a 1 for 10 reverse stock split, blah, 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 of common stock. The special meeting of shareholders is scheduled for March 14, 2023, according to Friday's SEC filing. Quote, assuming the current AMC stock price holds into the vote, the reverse stock split would open the door to roughly $22 billion in equity capital, Wold wrote on Monday. That is bullish. That is very bullish. So for a lot of people that think the vote should not go through, hopefully this does kind of change your mind and your perspective on this because if you're just bearish on this vote not going through and you don't know the implications of what this could actually do for AMC, you might end up selling your positions, selling out of your bullish trades when that should be the opposite of potentially what you should do. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not going to tell you to buy or sell anything. It's risky. All of it, all of this is risky. It's high risk, high reward that we are participating in in this market. And the risk rewards starting to look a lot better, especially if AMC can pay off all of its debt. That's a short squeeze, no matter how they do it. That's a short squeeze. That would cause shorts to cover on their short positions with almost certainty because the bearish case is 100,000% gone at that point and on another note even if this vote does pass on march 14th shortly after that you would probably see a lot of upgrades 
to AMC, and that would also open the door for more investments from some of these money managers, some of the guys that don't want to be short on AMC, that want to give AMC a chance, because not everyone is you know, malicious in the sense they want to see AMC go bankrupt, There's it's probably 50-50. There's probably some people that want to see Ape succeed in the hedge fund world, in the money manager world. Uh, and, and if this yeah. did happen, it would pave the door for a lot more investment into AMC. Now, something else that we really, really, really need to talk about, and the reason that I'm actually talking about all of this right now instead of 4 o'clock, is so you guys can be fully prepared with what we have to deal with. So the very special earnings in After Hours is going to be NXP. This is a semiconductor company. They make a lot of different semiconductor products for different companies. Um, not just Apple, but Apple is one of their main customers. And the markets are watching NXP to give us a glimpse into Apple earnings. If NXP has bad earnings, it could cause the stock market to crash. Yes, it could cause Apple, Amazon, Google. It could cause a sell-off in all of these names, specifically Apple that controls 7% of the S&P, over 10% of the NASDAQ. It could cause a pretty nasty sell-off tomorrow. So if you are you know, in a lot of calls or even in a lot of puts, you need to know this information and you need to be watching this one like a hawk in after hours to see what they say. I do personally have some puts on apple as well as the s p 500 if you guys want access to all of my trades in real time link down below in the description of this video find your way over there uh earning season does tend to be the most exciting season of all and where you can make a lot of money i actually have puts on nxp as well uh we'll see what happens with that i'm not so bullish on apple earnings especially what we have heard from other consumer uh companies with the fourth quarter earnings, they're not looking so good right now. Hasbro, great example. Just a terrible, terrible earnings for Hasbro. I I, I think it's probably going to be pretty bad for Apple at the same time. But again, I could be wrong. If NXP has great earnings, it's going to send the stock market up quite a bit coming tomorrow. So again, things that you do need to know about. Now, let's get into the data behind AMC as well as Ape. And we will start with AMC. We're just going to run through all of the basic short squeeze kind of data that you need to know. And if we're taking a look at the utilization, that is at 100%. Shares out on loan, 184.5 million. Free flow out on loan, 36%. And the estimated short interest of free float is 22.96%. I do expect after a day like today where the stock is down about 9.5% and Ape is doing twice as good, that there's probably a lot of shorting taking place today with AMC. As well as that, you do have 118.27 million shares that are sold short. That is up 37,000 here on the day. Cost of borrow rates continue to explode higher. Cost of borrow average at 322%. Cost of borrow max 358% and cost to borrow minimum at 7.26%. Cost to borrow rates from interactive brokers has us at 103%. Let's go ahead and take a look at APE. And what their numbers look like. Perfect. Let's pull it up. So, short interest of free float. God, so many buttons. Short interest of free float at 6.73%, up 0.12% on the day. The live short interest of 34.5 million shares. Cost of borrow rates are actually spiking up quite a bit compared to what we have seen in the past with Ape at 10.4% as a cost to borrow average. Cost to borrow max at 12.23% and cost to borrow minimum at 7.4%. And from interactive brokers, you're at 5.2% as a cost to borrow rate. Now, I do want to look at uh, the utilization that is at 92.14%. So there's really not a lot of shares that can actually be lent out as of right now. You do have cost to borrow uh, from this main number at about 8%. Days to cover at 1.35. Uh, like I said, 37.8 million shares out on loan. And the total amount of shares sold short is worth about $66.5 million, guys. So there is all of that information. 
just a quick reminder of what we have for the rest of this week as well we'll talk about this more at four o'clock but tomorrow in pre-market exxon mobile ups gm pfizer caterpillar mcdonald's spotify philip 66 and marathon after hours is amd and snapchat wednesday pre-market altria peloton uh, Humana, Waste Management, a lot of boring companies. Wednesday After Hours is going to be Facebook. That's going to be an interesting one. Thursday in After Hours, you're going to have Amazon, Apple, Google. And at the same time, you're going to have the Fed meeting on Wednesday. And then you're going to have some very important economic data as well on Thursday and on Friday. On Thursday, you are going to get let me go ahead and see actually it is wednesday that you get the uh economic data at 10 o'clock in the morning ism manufacturing pmi and also at 10 o'clock in the morning the jolts job openings and then on friday you are going to get the unemployment rate for january and the non-farm payrolls for january at 8 30 in the morning and the ism non-manufacturing pmi as well at 10 o'clock in the morning guys federal and powell 2 p.m on wednesday you mix all of these things together and really by friday you're gonna know is this market going to go higher or are we going to fall quite a bit? I will tell you if earnings are bad, it does not matter if the Fed causes a bullish reaction. Earnings will be the most important thing to the markets. S&P currently down about 1%. NASDAQ down about 1.6%. The VIX is back at that 20 level, which is still super, super low so there's not a lot of downside exposure here and that is also something i am a little bit weary about heading into such an important week guys so that is it for this video hit that like button and subscribe to the channel source your comments questions or concerns down below in the comment section tell them hit the like button again hit, hit the like button hit the like button tell them right there hit the like button hit the like button uh, okay, she's not going to do it this time. But nonetheless, thank you guys for watching and uh, really do appreciate the patience too. There's not much I can literally do because uh, I don't have anyone else here to help me take care of her. And, and she apparently loves her dad so much and wants to be around me all the time. So that is it, guys. Thank you again for the patience. Um, yeah, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you guys at 4 o'clock.